What's up, what's up, fathers, friends, and do-it-yourselfers? It's your boy, L from Garage 3000. We are out camping at Blanton Creek Campground, um, which is kind of on the border of Alabama and Georgia. So, like, our phones keep uh, actually jumping from Georgia time to Alabama time. It's pretty interesting. Uh, the lake is actually right here behind me. And I just wanted to take a, uh, take a quick second to um, show you guys our latest camper. So we used to go out camping in a uh, Palomino, uh, older style Palomino hard side pop-up. Uh, it was awesome. It had everything we needed for our family of four, uh, me, the missus, Logan, and Cyan. Um, it had a refrigerator and everything except for a bathroom. Really. We had a little porta potty in there, which we never really used because the campgrounds we go to are normally state parks and they're always pretty pretty awesome facilities on the state parks. Um, so we've, ran, we've never ran to just a horrible facility. Um, a restroom facility and bathhouse but we wanted to upgrade and so we upgraded and we actually went out and got a hybrid camper so we have now a shamrock forest river it's a 2003 shamrock forest river hybrid camper which sleeps a lot more than our old pop-up which would sleep four maybe six um this sleeps upwards to eight or nine people so it's pretty cool it has it's a uh, hybrid camper it's probably a 23 foot tow uh, length behind your vehicle. And once you get to your campsite, you pop it up. It has a front queen size pop-up, a side queen size pop-up, and then a rear queen size pop-up. And then of course the dining room table turns into a bed and the couch folds over. It's pretty awesome. So here we go. All right, this is the front pop-up. It's the queen size. And then we have the side pop-up, which is also a queen size. Let's walk around. Of course, we have our water hookup. Your propane setup. Trash can. Trash can. There's a bag over there on the ground. Just go ahead and throw it in that, that brown bag. All right, on the inside. Okay. All right, so inside we have, immediately to the right, we have um, the couch, which folds out and folds out and lays flat. And that's a bed that's big enough for an adult. And then of course we have the dinette table, which also lays flat to be a bed big enough for an adult, two adults probably. Um, we have storage pr practically everywhere. So there's storage there, there's storage here. Um, we have storage up top. One second, let me turn the music down. We have storage up top. Again, storage up top. You got the kids uh, riding, riding gear. And this is, again, a queen size bed. It is awesome. It's a very nice view when you wake up in the morning and just can look out these open tinted windows, these tent windows. Um, we have more storage up top here. So that's where all of our electrical gadgets and stuff go. I love the curtains, they, they pop down and they actually come out pretty far from the bed. So you have a lot of privacy. So they Velcro in three different spots. Uh, the top, the middle, and the bottom, and then it, it just blocks off that whole side. It's, it's pretty awesome, and there's a lot of room behind there. As a matter of fact, let me get back there and show you how much room it is. So, yeah, I'm behind here, and it's just like a lot of footage. We're camping with our friends Patrick and Candace this time because they've never been camping, and we want to show them it. camp life. So a lot of foot and a lot of room. Now with the curtains pulled to the side, you can see the entire camper. There's a spot on the ground that we will have to shampoo. It just came with this last camping trip. But so you can see the dining table, the couch area, and above we have the entertainment system, which consists of a radio a CD player, which pumps uh, sounds throughout throughout the camper. There's speakers everywhere. 
Um, this is where we put our towels normally. They're outside drying. Uh, we have a television, which has uh, extra, uh, it has an antenna up top. So normally we're able to pick up uh, over the air signals. And then we just have a linen closet. We have uh, a freezer, very nice freezer. Refrigerator, very nice refrigerator also. We have our, our um, fuse panel down bottom and uh, small uh, carbon monoxide detector and all, and all that good stuff. And I forgot to mention that up under the entertainment system, there is our, uh, our switch for the pumps and our, our gray and black water level meters, gauges. Right. Then over this side we have a three burner stove. We have our fire extinguisher, a lot more storage. We have an exhaust fan with a light. Uh, a very nice deep sink. Um, got a cutting board on top. And a moth just flew by. Uh, we have a very nice microwave. So microwave where we have our cupboard for random stuff have plenty of storage down here on the bottom uh, for pots and pans and just random random oscillations trash bags cutlery all this good stuff uh, and then we have our bathroom which is a pretty good sized bathroom it has a commode, a stand-up shower, and a sink. Stand-up shower, which I don't really use because I'm not a fan of running water inside the camper. So I'm always like, let's just go to the bathhouse. It's a nice bathhouse, but the shower is nice. Um, I'm six feet tall and it accommodates me. Uh, the skylight area skylight bubble area accommodates my head so that works for me then we have the side pop-up side queen size bed again it has uh, curtains that covers this whole area and closes off that whole area and that's Logan down there back in the background with his orange shirt riding his bike around the campsite Again, we have all the windows open, just better than some air in. We are actually about to pack up and head back to the city. And this is the rear queen size uh, pop out. So, this is the third one. So, we have three. It's very, very roomy. Uh, for a family of four, it's just over as hot, maybe. But. This is me inside of the third one. And all of these will fold up. It'll fold up and lay flat. The mattress will lay in, uh, in front of it. That one on the other end will fold in and lay flat. And the one I'm on will fold in also. So, very roomy camper for a family of four. It can easily accommodate four adults up there easily. Four and two adults and maybe a god off of my kids, six kids. Um, two adults back here easily, and two adults back here easily. It's the the AC system, so we set it on cool, and it'll blow out through here at the top. And you could also vent it, close the vent so that it blows out through all the subsequent uh, vents throughout the camper, like down there. And also there are just sockets everywhere and more storage 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 everywhere very very nice camper all right this is our 2003 forest river shamrock hybrid camper it weighs 4,800 pounds. We tow it with my Chevy Avalanche, or either our QX56 up there, depending on what we have going on. Mm -hmm.